Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding rolling average steps. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads We are given a table called steps with three different columns user ID, steps count, and steps date. The user ID and steps date combined columns is the primary key for this table. This is very important. Each row of this table contains user ID, steps count, and steps date. We are asked to write a solution to calculate three day rolling averages of steps for each user. We calculate the n day rolling average this way. For each day, we calculate the average of n consecutive days of the step counts ending on that day if available. Otherwise, n day rolling average is not defined for it. Output the user ID steps rate and rolling average, round the rolling average to two decimal places, return the result table ordered by user ID steps rate in ascending order. Let's go through this example. So here we have user ID 1, 2, 3, 5 and 6, so various user IDs and various step counts and the different step state. So it says three day rolling average, but only when three consecutive days are available. So for example, if we look at user ID one, so we have five different dates, 2nd of September, 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th. So if we look at the three day rolling average of 2nd and 4th, since we don't have even three days of data, so these two should not be in the output. Now for 5th, so you have data for 2, 4 and 5th. However, if you look at it, so you have 4 and 5 that are consecutive, but 2 is not consecutive. So also 5 should not be in the output. However, for 6, right? So you have data for 4, 5 and 6. So you calculate the average of 395, 499 and 712. And you have for user ID 1 on 6th of September, whatever the average comes out, you have that average. Now for 7th as well, you have data for 5, 6 and 7. And you calculate the average of 499, 712 and 576. Similarly, you can do that for other user IDs. So yeah, that is what you have, right? So user ID 1, 6th and 7th. So to solve this question, what we can do is, instead of firstly looking at the consecutive part, whether they are available or not, what we can do is, let's go ahead and calculate the three day rolling average for each of the dates and then move forward from there. So how do we calculate rolling averages is, from this table called steps, let's keep all the columns that it has. So select star and then let's create average of the steps count column. And we are using average as a window function because we need to calculate rolling average. So over, now we need it for every user ID, right? So partition by user ID and then order by the steps date column in ascending order. And we need to calculate the three day rolling average. So we need to make sure that your cursor when it is here so you just take the this one this particular row and two rows before it right so how do we ensure that particular window is maintained every time you need to write rows between two preceding and current row so that is going to set up the fixed length of the window so the window will be when the cursor is here so cursor is current row is this Two preceding there is nothing so the average comes out to be 687 now when the cursor moves down so now you have current row and two preceding but there is only one preceding right so the average comes out to be 687 plus 395 divided by 2 now when the cursor moves to 5 now you have current row and two preceding so the average will be calculated here and let's alias this as whatever is required in our output let's alias this as rolling average and you also need to round this to two decimal places so what we should do is we should round it here you you can round it at the end as well but i like to you know do this as the step progresses so round this to two decimal places and let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output so now what you have here is so you have various user ids their steps count, their steps date and the rolling average and you see right so just because current row and there is nothing before the rolling average remains the same and then 541 is basically the average of 687 and 395 then 527 is the average of these three and then 535.33 is the average of 395, 499 and 712 and so on. Now once you have the rolling averages then you also need to make sure that the question says that n day rolling average will be calculated if consecutive days of step counts 
is available otherwise and a rolling average is not defined for it so how to ensure this part of the question what you can do is every particular row try to find out two rows before it so for example look at this right user id 1 so you have we know that in our output we only need sixth and seventh how will this particular thing help us achieving that so if we look at lag of two that is two two rows before this current row you have nothing so the value will be null for four what is two rows before this not two days two rows so row one and row two there is nothing null now for fifth two rows before this is going to be second right so second of september similarly for six it is going to be four and seven it is going to be five now once you have that values then if you calculate the difference let me go ahead and try to do that and it would be easier for me to explain so now what i'm doing is lag of steps date two two rows before not days and since we are using this as a window function so over partition by the user id and order by steps date and what we are basically doing is let us alias this as two before right two before let me go ahead and run this now let's see what do we have here is let, let me just pull it to left so now once we have here is okay so two rows before now if you look at this right so if you subtract the steps date and two before and the number of days that comes out to be two that means that should be kept why two because again you remember at the starting of the question i said that this line is very very important why because it says user id and step date is the primary key that means that the combination right so these combination user id and step date it is going to be unique so you are not going to say that you have one row where user id one and second of september and then you also have another row which have the same date so that is not going to happen this is what the question establishes so this makes it very interesting and very important that we can go ahead and do this is that if you calculate the difference between step state and two before and if the days comes out to be two that means two days before this exists and there are three consecutive rows now the another question that might come into our mind is that okay if that's the case what about in this particular example we have one row where we have user id one and you have fourth of september and then you don't have this particular row and you have sixth of september but remember we are doing two rows before so if you don't have this particular row right if you don't have this particular row what you will be having so after this if you do two before it is going to give you this particular value right so you see it is not two days before we are doing two rows before to ensure there is consecutive nature so you see there is another way of doing and establishing consecutivity in this particular case so what we are going to do is let's save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we are going to do is from this common table expression keep only those rows where date difference that means the difference between steps date and two before is equal to two this ensures consecutive nature let us return the user id steps date and the rolling average because that is what we need in our output if we look at our output this is what we need users id steps date and rolling average and this should also be ordered by user id and step state in ascending order so order by user id and steps date let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is exactly like expected output let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how to do it so to solve this question what we basically did was firstly we found out irrespective of what the question says we found out three day rolling average using the average window function and rows between two preceding and current row this fixes that window and then what we also did was we got the two rows before step state and once we had both of those columns we kept only those rows where the days between the current date and the two rows before that is 
equal to two that ensures consecutive nature and we ordered by user id and step date in ascending order so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better or more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video